Great things are achieved when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable safely. Okay, so for this one, it can be a bit of a hot potato. It can be good or bad, because when you talk about being vulnerable, sometimes for some people, that's a real issue and a problem. And I think for myself, I'm the kind of person that really likes people. I'm innately very trusting. And so I do leave myself exposed to uh, maybe, maybe some, some dangers sometimes. So over the course of my life, I've had to learn to be vulnerable safely. And I think when you start to identify where you can be vulnerable safely, then amazing things happen. Because oftentimes that is about being with other people that maybe have similar to you. And so that you can find that place of security with other people. And I think one of the saddest things is that I've seen amongst people is that never being able to trust never being able to allow yourself to be vulnerable and there's something very special about being vulnerable safely is that you allow people to see you and when other people can see you they can come alongside you so never think that being vulnerable is a really bad thing being vulnerable safely is an excellent thing and it's a bit of a journey to learn how to do that. And I guess I want to bring that back to the project as well, is that in so many ways, in so many areas, because I've been with the right people, even with the project lead of this whole project, um, and with other strong characters, I have been able to be that vulnerable person safely and feel that that is not a dangerous place for me at all. So in a sense, really what I'm wanting to give to people in this one is it's okay and it's a good thing to allow yourself to be seen. And so if you can find that place, again, it's one of those things that can be quite healing. Thank you for watching.